My name is Mitch, and I work with Oxford Study Courses. I'm going to show you a few examples of how you, as a student, can use OSC Study to revise for topics, prepare for unit tests, and get ready for your diploma exams. The OSC Study app is designed by IB experts so that you can learn in the way that's best for you. Now, there's three ways to approach a subject. There's flashcards, revision guides, and videos. Are you wondering how to access OSC Study? If you have a Manage Bank account, go ahead and log in with that one. In this case, here I'm in the Faria School. So once you're in there, you should select OSC Home. And from there, you'll see all sorts of useful things, including OSC Study. Now, you can have a free trial or else you can purchase from here. Now, in this case, my school got us an account. So, yay! So I'll click on the Go to App button. Now, as you can see here, we have a whole bunch of different subjects available, and we're adding lots more. Uh, now, OSC Study, it works for a PC, Mac, any other mobile device, a phone or tablet. It's designed to be fully responsive, so you can use it on the go or on a bigger screen at home. Let's say that you're a Chemistry SLHL student, and you're in your first year of the IB Diploma Program. So now you're doing well in class so far, but you have a unit test next week on atomic structure, which is topic two, I think. So let's see how you can use OSC Study to prepare for that test. So first things first, within the app, you need to make sure you select the subject you want. So I want chemistry in this case, and we're going to see what happens here. So within any subject, it kind of goes the same here. Along the top, you can select you know, which subject you want, so you can get out and choose a different subject. Within any subject, along the bottom, you have topics right here, which you can select. That just opens and closes the left navigation. You can write your own notes on things, make folders, but I'm just going to leave the topics open here. Now, along the top, can you see we've got flashcards, revision guides, and videos, so you can choose the way that you want to learn. So in this case here, I can choose flashcards, revision guides, yeah, whichever I want. Now, as you scroll down, you can see the different topics. So in this case right here, I want to look at topic two. So for that, then I'm going to choose topic two here, study topic. Now within topic two, now it's broken down. Can you see now within revision guides, I've got all the subtopics within topic two here. In this case right here, if I'm looking to prepare for uh, this exam here, if you're a strong student, you know maybe you should just use the revision guides to top up you know, topics that you need some help on. So Let's say, for example, I'm struggling with electron configuration. Then I could just click on this one right here, and I can read all about them. So I can see right here how they work, see some diagrams. And maybe you're really struggling with like the electron structure, for example, like these you know, electron configuration tables here. So you could, of course, just read it like this, or you can go up and maybe select a video instead. So can you see right here within the videos, you can select, see the bottom one right here it says electron configuration. So I'll do that one. Now, as I do this one right here, for example, we've got a guy named uh, David. He was the one who was doing these videos for us. So you can hear him talking to us. I'll just turn his voice down. Can you see then he'll walk us through how to do this? So these are all IB teachers who show you this stuff. The revision guides are written by IB teachers as well. So keep in mind we have the IB completely in front of mind here. So you can see how useful this could be for actually studying, right? Now, once you've sort of mastered this, I think a good idea would be to, you know, to put your knowledge to the test. So that's where you can use those flashcards to practice and quiz yourself. So for example, maybe you want to go down and scroll down to, you know, the electron configuration ones, then you can take a look at these. Now, when you look at these flashcards, you can of course use these arrows and show the answers. What I like is if you're on the desktop or PC mode like this, you can just use the arrows as well. So watch, I can just press the space bar right here to flip it over to see the answer. I can use the right arrow to go to the next one. And these here are just all these really interesting and very key questions that you can then use to practice. So that way you can get ready for those tests that you have. So you can see how useful this would be? You can do this for every topic. Let's say you're a student in math analysis, uh, so that's AA, and you're in SL. Now you're in your final year of the diploma program, so you have exams coming up. And you're really struggling in class, especially with calculus. So you want to spend some time on your own revising the entire topic, especially the theory. So it might seem daunting, but here's how we can help you. First of all, from the app, make sure you select Math AA. Now what you can do then is you can go through either revision guides or videos, select whichever one you want. Of course, we should select topic five because we're doing calculus. 
So the best recommendation I can make is you should go through either, you know, the entire revision guide here for this section, you know, take some notes on everything that you see here, or go through the videos, for example, and do the same thing, take some notes on them. What's important about taking notes though is you have to make them your own. So you should write you know, your own notes in your own words about you know, what it's about, what are the equations used, give some examples. See, making the notes in your own language, that helps it stick in your mind. So don't just copy from a textbook, make it yours. So let's say, for example, you're really struggling and utterly confused by integration by substitution. So that's sometimes called the reverse chain rule. So that would be in this revision guide, for example, that would be under indefinite integrals. So I could scroll down, for example, and I could see that here, reversing the chain rule here. So you can take a look at these and see if these examples here will help you. So there's examples, there's also solutions there for you. Now, if you're really stuck, then you can also go ahead and see the video, for example. Now these are videos that I've made, so this uh, lovely voice you're hearing, that's uh, me, uh, Mitch, I'm the one who made the math videos, at least for the SL ones here. So you can see my video that I made on integration by substitution. So you could click here and you can see me sitting in my basement, you know, talking to students about what to do. So I'll just mute myself there. But you can see that I'm just going to walk you through how to actually go ahead and solve all these. So again, what I suggest you do is you would, you know, write your known notes on these, give examples, and then when you're ready, you can practice with the flashcards. So again, go to the flashcards. Those are actually made by Hayes Mathematics, which is a well-known uh, mathematics textbook. So we've got you covered. So what's next? In the coming months, we're going to be adding some additional subjects. Also, let's just say we go into one subject right here. I just want to show you what we're going to be doing as well. So let's say, for example, in math AISL here, wouldn't it be amazing if after revising a topic, you could just practice exam questions? This is what we're working on. So imagine right here, for example, there was a fourth option right here called, you know, exam questions. So that way, you know, let's say you go into a topic well, like topic one right here. Wouldn't it be great if after you're done revising, you can, you know, see a whole bunch of exam questions to the right, you know, by subtopic. So we're working on having exam questions not just by subtopic, but also by entire topic. And we're thinking about putting it over here, for example, making it you know, an entire exam. So we're going to be putting in not only the questions, but also detailed written solutions that are really clear, as well as video solutions so you can see exactly how to do it. Isn't that awesome? Take OSC Study for a spin today with a free trial. Make it happen with OSC Study.